Hey guys, so 200th episode, which is pretty awesome. Um, I wanted to share something with you uh, about Ziklag, right? Um, in the first Samuel, the 30th chapter, um, we see David, and David is out with his mighty men, and they're out um, working for the Lord. They're out doing the things that God had commanded them to do. Um, he's trying to do the right thing, um, you know, by Saul and all this stuff. And next thing you know, Ziklag, which was, you know, where their home base was for all these people, Ziklag gets raided um, by the enemy. And the enemy comes in and takes their women, takes their children, takes their cattle, just and, you know, raises everything to the ground. Um, and basically, you know, like taking everything that they wanted. Um, and they spend some time, the men, grieving and mourning. And, you know, like they're just down. They're like, we were doing the things that we were told to do. And then, you know, David finally comes together and he says, okay, let's consult God. And he said, God, you know, should I pursue them um, and, you know, try to overtake them? And God says, pursue them. You will surely overtake them and you will recover all. And so we're going to talk a little bit throughout this week on this. And um, But I want to talk about the initial. A lot of times whenever... We're not doing, we're doing what we're supposed to do. We're doing what we're called to do. Um, that doesn't mean that the enemy isn't going to come in and attack us in a ways that, that we maybe didn't even expect. You know, and a hope deferred makes the heart sick. Um, I know that personally. I mean, um, you go back several months ago, you know, my, my, I had a hope and uh, a dream of, uh, well, I worked six years to get a second degree black belt. And I, you know, put my heart and soul in that. And, um, you know, six days prior to my test, things just fell apart. And I can tell you that my initial, no matter how hopeful or no matter how much I trusted, you know, that, that the process I was going to, you know, like come out okay on the other side, no matter how much I even knew that, like it made my heart sick. Um, you know, like you battle all these negative thoughts and I can tell you that I didn't react well to it. You know, like I, you know, like uh, I held myself together, but I mean, I gained like 20 pounds, you know, like just as I, you know, kind of was just down on my luck. And I just, I look at David and I'm like, yeah, I understand, you know, because some people would look at him and be like, why did it take you so long to consult God? And the answer is, a hope deferred makes the heart sick. So I want, want you to realize that, you know, like David, you know, like the mighty man David, you know, like he didn't necessarily, no matter how close he was with God, it the, the moment hit him hard first. So don't be down on your luck and think that, oh, well, because I took that, that time and I, I didn't consult God immediately, that God won't bless my bounce back. That's not true. And I I know that myself. I look at, you know, so many stories in the Bible and I'm like, yeah, God, you know, you're going to bless the bounce back and you're going to make it to where it's better than what it was before. And, you know, like, I don't know, as we go through this verse, I just can tell you that as we go through this chapter, go and read this story. It's amazing. Um, but we're going to be diving through it this week and we're just going to talk about, you know, like what, what God is commanding them to do, what they do and how this all, you know, can affect and, and bless us. So I do want to thank you. Those that have been around for 200 episodes, those that have been around for the last two. Um, thank you for, you know, checking out the, the channel and, um, supporting it. Um, I know that I've been up and down as far as consistently see, uh, lately, and I apologize for that, but we're going to keep on chugging along. So I'm going to keep on pushing to what it is that God asked me to do. So thank you all for taking a minute.